I wanted to weigh in my two cents when it comes to reviewing and kind of talking about Hobonichi simply because I have been using it for quite a few months and I wanted to kind of just talk about who I think this system is absolutely for, who might have some trouble with it, and will kind of answer the age-old question, will I repurchase it for 2023? Hello friends and welcome back to Align Plans and let's talk about Hobonichi, Hobonichi, Techo Hobonichi Weeks and see who it's ideal for. And I know you're looking at this because brand new 2023 selection is slowly but surely launching as we speak. So you might be kind of looking at the different options and I thought that I would just weigh in my own, my own two cents. So if that sounds good, why don't we just dive right in. And hello, hello, if you are brand new to this channel, I'm so glad that you have showed up and you are here sharing your time and your space with me. My name is Meshi, I am the person behind Align Plans and here we talk about anything and everything, minimalist planning, journaling and all the things so that, you know, your beautiful stationary stuff does not just collect dust in your shelf which is a very sad moment. Let's talk about first about Hobonichi Weeks and then after that we'll, we'll dive into the Techo. So I have the Hobonichi Techo original and I have the Weeks. Now this is um, the Hobonichi Weeks. It's not the five year one, it's just the, the normal sized one. It's all in, it's, it's not the English version, so there is that. If you are familiar with Hobonichi Weeks, you already kind of know like the sizing. It's just slightly bigger than an A6 size. So this is an A6 size planner. Here we go. So as you can tell, it's just ever so slightly bigger, but if I'm comparing that, let's say to an A5 planner, then it's about maybe half the page and just a little bit shorter. So it obviously it becomes really ideal for those of you that are looking for like a small little compact book that kind of carries quite a big punch. Now I have to say, at first when I bought this, I wasn't quite sure how I'm going to be using it, but I thought that it would be like a cute little booklet to carry with me. So as you can tell, like I wasn't quite sure what my flow was, how I really wanted to set it up, if I wanted to use washi tape, if I wanted to use my minimalist planner supplies, what I wanted to use. It took me a little bit to kind of get accustomed to it, just because if I'm looking at just an empty week, you don't really get a ton of space here. So, but then on the other hand, you also have like a full page on the side here where you can actually write. So um, I was definitely intrigued just simply by the paper and I wanted something different. Honestly, sometimes I just switch my planner system up simply for the sake of having something different. And so by the time, now that we are arriving here into August, as you can tell, I have gotten accustomed to it. I kind of set up like small little sections here. I still don't have like a definite like function for this side note, like this sidebar here, but I'm, you know, I'm adding little wash She's here and there, and I have a section here for for this week. Let me zoom you in so you can actually see a little bit better. So I have this week, priorities, projects on the go, and next week. And I kind of try to keep it relatively simple. I'm pretty sure that if I wanted to, I would cram more in here because my writing is relatively small. But for now, like honestly, I'm happy with this setup the way it is. I also have one section here I kind of dedicate to agenda and then the next section I add for mood tracking. As you can tell, I'm not really great at mood tracking sometimes, but I definitely really enjoy the fact that everything is in like my entire week is right in front of me. It's small and compact. A lot of the times this just travels with me to my work, but what I actually love is in the back, you have some grid paper. For pretty much anything, video ideas, um, mainly YouTube video ideas, swatches, if I wanted to do swatches, um, pretty much anything that kind of comes to my mind. If I wanted to do like a full blown download or if I wanted to kind of hash out something more in detail, this has been sort of the place for that. Now, my one thing though that I'm finding is that I need to keep this relatively minimal. I don't necessarily, for planning purposes, I keep this to the bare bone basics when it comes to writing details here. 
which sometimes I appreciate, sometimes I really don't. And eventually it does get a little bit redundant when it comes to like, what is like the main purpose? So like here this week, like it wasn't even filled out. Granted, I wasn't even here, but still. And then, but I do love the minimalistic look. I do love how simple it is, which sometimes I prefer. Sometimes I really don't care for it too much. I like that I'm keeping everything kind of consistent with color coding where I just pick one pen and that's sort of like the color that I'm going with for the week. So for that reason, I love it. Monthlies, I don't really end up touching too much because I just... I don't know, I kind of tried here a little bit and you can look back on some of my previous videos and it was okay. I Like this looks really cluttered to me, even though it's not, but it still feels very heavy to me. So I don't know, I just, I kind of got like these old trips down memory lane when you just sort of feel like, oh boy, this is going to get really busy. Um, because you don't have a lot of space available that really forces me to kind of keep things to the bare bone basics. So, like if you're looking at like the age old question, is this functional? It absolutely is. I think that, you know, you can have, if you're using this for planning purposes, I think it's fantastic. Um, you can keep it to the minimum. You can also use it for journaling where you're using it for memory keeping. You have enough space to kind of write things. You can flood it with your memories or you can just keep it for minimalist planning. And for that, it's, it's great. Now let's move on to the Hobonichi Techo. Hobonichi Techo is a little bit wider and the days, and of course you have all the way up to 2023, the year at a glance available. Then we have each little layout here for like daily tracking if you're choosing to use that. I personally don't use it for anything. Now let's talk about the monthly. So the monthly here, you're getting more of a square, which I appreciate. And I really love the fact that I can, so as you can tell all the way up to May, I wasn't really doing a whole lot with it until around June. And then here you're starting to see a little bit more decor. I'm still not really keeping too many things. Um, I'm not keeping track of too many things here. And then moving into August, I haven't actually filled anything out, but what I was kind of thinking is it was getting, this is getting more converted into a journal rather than a planner. I wasn't really intending to use this as a planner. I always wanted to use this as a journal. So because of that, it allows me to kind of write a lot more things in, get a lot more, you know, creative, add more decoration, more washi tape, all of the fun things, which is obviously it's been going great. Um, like the color, like the highlighters are looking awesome there. If you wanted to see some of my previous flip throughs in the Hobonichi Techo, I will just put it in the cards for you so you can check that out. But let's skip a doodle all the way up to about right around now because even within journaling it's been great but I'm just finding I'm not keeping like now I'm starting to get more into actually writing a lot more so moving into July and then now here we are now I'm adding a lot more reflections this is primarily really was designed for um, spirituality based journaling so anything where I would pull a card, what is the reflection on that? What is the shadow work behind it? What am I actually working through? And so for that reason, it's more than enough space. It's lots of fun, I really enjoy it. But honestly, sometimes I don't really want to write anything about it. And then at that point, I can just kind of make fun little spreads. So I love the layout. Part of me is actually kind of dying to just use this as a functional planner because I think it really works really awesome. So if you're not familiar with the look, you have one section here that's sort of like your, your time blocking, you have priorities at the very top, and then you have like this full middle of the page that you can kind of use for whatever you need to, your ongoing to-do list, your anything and everything. For journaling purposes, I think that you have a hefty amount of space for you to really create beautiful spreads, whether it's a standalone one or you're kind of converting, like you're doing the full, full page on both sides. Um, now, would I use this for spirituality-based journaling again? Probably not. I would probably not stick with this system for this particular reason. I find that on, especially on the spirituality side, I need a lot more space to really like unload and kind of dissect what I really wanted to write about. And for that, I'm actually finding 
a lot more joy in writing in my full-sized um, traveler's notebook and like that's okay I know when I'm buying a journal it's going to be for journaling purposes if I'm buying a planner it's going to be for planning purposes for this would I repurchase this as a planner I think I would I would really like to see the new lineup and see sort of how things go but I really enjoy using this one thing I would recommend though is if you're getting the Hobonichi Techo because it doesn't have a page marker anywhere within the book is to get a cover. So this is actually from Hobonichi itself. And then I just bought like a clear cover for it. It has made everything so much easier because here you can kind of loop your pen through both. So they're kind of call it like a butterfly stopper or like a butterfly loop where you can just like loop your pen through. It keeps everything nice and tight and closed. It doesn't matter what I have going on on my desk. It just kind of keeps it nice and secure. So I really love this system and it's been fairly inexpensive. Like some of the covers, if you obviously, if you get like a leather cover, it can get a little pricey but these are fairly inexpensive and you have a page marker which is awesome because then that way you always kind of know where you are so now let's talk about both systems i think that both of these guys are fairly small compact easy traveling even here within the weeks you might find that you don't actually need a cover for it because you can get it as a hard cover so I really like both of these guys. Would I use them the way that I have intended them to use them initially when I purchased them? Probably not because my journaling has evolved and also my planning system have evolved. And I think that, especially within the planning community, we need to kind of acknowledge that what you set out to use at the very beginning of the year may change and may shift the more you end up using them because you you may find that you can actually pinpoint where the shortcomings are or just what fits better for your lifestyle six months later. And when your planning system and your planning style and your journaling style changes and evolves, I think that is it's good to kind of look at that with a sense of compassion rather than with a sense of guilt and shame. So I just kind of wanted to put that out there that it's okay that the way that I'm planning and the way that I'm journaling has changed and evolved because that means that I'm actually learning more about myself as I use these beautiful tools. But I think it's also important that I'm not going to purchase something that I know will not get the full use out of it, if that makes sense. Now let's take a look at the 2023 lineup from Hobonichi. This is now on um, Hobonichi's website. So I wanted to just slowly scroll through. Hopefully the quality will actually pick up well. So as you can tell, as of August 1st, Hobonichi is going through like this really extensive launch extravaganza essentially so each date that you see there are like a release of the different covers or just different insights or different information on what is to come so first cover that i want to kind of point out this one is from the novelist maha harada and i probably butchered it i really in like there's like a little storyline around um like the design and where it came from. Now this next one, oh, there's just something very beautiful about this. Um, it's basically fruits and veggies and trees. And I believe here the illustrationist, I believe she's from, she's from Finland. So the designs that you see are very like European inspired, which I really, really enjoy. So here I really like I really love the week's design as well as the pencil board design that um, she has going on. Okay, moving on to the next design, I'm gonna move right on to Yuzo Itami. I mean, not much else to say here except how absolutely stunning and unique it is. I believe this will also come with a couple of different books as well and I'm interested in picking that up as well just because it just feels so... If you have seen my week's design, that was really unique, but this looks absolutely stunning. I really love the black and white design, how simple and how elegant everything looks. So probably for that reason, we're simply going to grab it. Oh, and then of course we have now, we have a collaboration 
with a leather factory who is creating these really beautiful and stunning designs. I just want to kind of show you guys a close up in case you haven't had a chance to check it out. They look really well made. They look absolutely stunning. I think the, the price point is going to be interesting to see of what we can expect. Um, in the next few days, it will definitely going to be revealed. But then if you scroll further down on their website, you can kind of see like what is sort of the, the ultimate plan, what is like the, the main thing that they're really planning and looks like as of the 25th, so in the next couple of days, the website will actually open up and we can shop. So I hope that you have found this little video useful and helpful. I think that both of these systems are fantastic for those of you that are Looking for something minimalistic, all in one compact booklet, something that will last you a really long time and you can kind of look back on it later on. I think it would be ideal for that. Um, I also think that those of you that are using multiple systems and you want something that can travel easily with you, I'm pretty sure that you're going to find Hobonichi to be really yeah, you will find home within that. But I also think that for those of you that are like really bored and just want a little bit a little bit of a change from the bullet journaling system then you will be able to use those same systems that you have implemented within bullet journaling you can kind of translate those skills within the hobonichi so those are like the top three that top three categories that i think would find it ideal within the hobonichi lineup um i cannot wait to actually see the brand new lineup within 2023 it's coming out within a week or so so i'm very excited because like the designs are so unique and and they just seem so special you know so for that reason i will likely repurchase hobonichi i'm not sure if i'm going to go with the techo or with the weeks probably the techo but we will see the designs this is all I have for you. I would love to know. Here's your question of the day. Let me know in the comments below if one, if you have a Tobonichi, let me know what you have. And also, are you going to be purchasing the new lineup in 2023? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, support the channel, share it with your friends, all of the good things. And in the meanwhile, just keep journaling, keep planning, keep using these beautiful tools. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.